No matter what I did trying to put together this week's video, it just wasn't coming together. I ended up scrapping the idea, getting frustrated, turning all the lighting and stuff off, and jumping into my car and doing the one thing I knew best to do. And that's to go out with my large format camera and meditate. Hey there, welcome to Large Format Friday. I'm your host, Matt Marash, and if this is the first time you're stopping by, here's a playlist of all of our LFF episodes. Today's video is a little bit different because I'm not gonna cover some technique in large format. We have plenty of time to get there, but this week I wanna talk about something that's near and dear to my heart with large format, and that is going out and just experiencing with your camera. Going out and meditating. For me, that means carrying all my gear on my back, 60, 70 pounds worth of stuff, going out and hiking in the middle of nature. The more uninterrupted I can be, the better. So when I was frustrated trying to put together a really technical video, I closed everything up, packed up the car, and drove about 45 minutes south to Clifton Gorge. It's a state nature preserve I had been to once before uh, after days and days of rain, so the, the river running through the gorge was just coursing through and it just constantly a ton of water. This time around, instead of going early in the morning with a lot of rain, I went late afternoon, early evening, and very, very calm. Fortunately, there was not a lot of people out there, and I just went out with the intention to go out and exercise first and foremost. Just get some fresh air, and if I got something with my camera, great. I brought a few film holders and I ended up exposing five different pictures. I thought all five of them executed pretty decently, but were they something that's like a final portfolio piece for me? Probably not. The last time I visited Clifton Gorge, it was part of a project I was doing of the State Nature Preserves in Ohio. There's over a hundred of them. I didn't know it at the time. I probably should have looked into it before I said, yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, it was part of this uh, program called the Volunteer Program with the DNAP, the Department of Natural Areas and Preserves. These are state lands that uh, the public has access to so long as they promise to uh, help preserve uh, the, na the natural flora and fauna. We do so by packing in, packing out, not littering, not disturbing the plant life, just abiding by the trails, not bringing pets, and just going out there with the thought of appreciating and experiencing nature. They're some of my favorite places in Ohio. So when I went down to Clifton Gorge, it had a different feeling this time around because now I was going at the opposite end of the day. I was going in the evening. It was very calm. There wasn't a lot of wind. And I just wanted to see what it was like. It'd been a while since I'd hiked that rim trail. There was a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of stairs. And it's, it's quite a hike. It's only a few miles. But when you've got about 70 pounds of gear, it can add up. I went with no particular goal in mind other than to decompress, calm down, and if I could get something cool with my camera, great. There ended up being some pretty neat light that was streaming in kind of behind me because I was walking toward, uh, toward the sunset pretty much the entire time. The first shot I ended up doing was just going along the rim trail looking at the gorge overlook. Uh, there were some gorgeous trees, some light streaming in from behind, and just this tiny little hint of the gorge down below. The sense of scale there is, uh, it makes you feel, you know, it makes you feel pretty darn small, uh, even for a place in Ohio. The second picture was pretty close to where my first picture was, just another scene of the gorge overlook, but there was just this absolute chaos of, of trees that were in the process of kind of falling into the gorge. It was kind of a common theme as I would find out. Uh, later on. I was able to get a few views that I hadn't previously and I also discovered some of the things that I'd experienced before at Clifton Gorge because of just natural uh, natural trees falling and things shifting around that it was actually pretty different the second half of the trail once I headed into the gorge. There's this giant staircase that goes down um, about a hundred feet or so into the gorge and you feel like you're getting really really up close. A little bit further into the gorge I got a little bit closer and I saw this really neat little eddy kind of outcropping of water swirling around and I was already at the point where my exposures were a few seconds so I was utilizing that time to just kind of calm down this little eddy that was right in front of me and then just kind of show this white strip of the, uh, of the rapids behind it. It was, ended up pretty neat. Further down the trail, uh, where I had a lot of shooting success last time, I found out some of the natural deforestation that was going on, trees falling and rocks moving around. It was quite a bit different, and the stuff I had anticipated on being my like 
oh, this is gonna be the place I wanna shoot, ended up not being as photogenic as it was the first time around. One of the benefits about returning to a place you've already photographed is you kind of have an idea of what's there, but if something's changed, we can react to that. We can look for other, you know, other things. We can shift our focus from uh, what we had in our mind's eye to something else that's out there. For me, large format is absolutely as much meditation and therapy as it is a technical medium and something that I can produce uh, I can produce prints and art with. So, you know, going out into nature and exposing five sheets of eight by 10, I can name a lot of things that are less expensive than doing that and effort wise, but it was very calming, very relaxing. It felt really good. And I got a pretty decent bit of exercise. I'm still a little bit sore because it's been a while since I've done some vertical hikes with, uh, with all of that gear. At the end of it though, I ended up with some cool black and white shots that I wouldn't have had if I hadn't crashed and burned trying to put together a technical video. So don't worry, Large Format Friday isn't permanently changing into something else. I'm going to periodically though have different videos about my large format meditations. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below, throw down a like. Do you meditate with large format? Is it entirely technical for you or is there some room for aesthetics there too? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks again for stopping by and we'll catch you next week for more LFF.